Born in Jersey City, New Jersey in 1922 and raised in Norristown, Pennsylvania, Evelyn Jean Mackin, PT, is often referred to as the matriarch of hand therapy. She graduated from the University of Pennsylvania Hospital Graduate School of Physical Therapy in 1944. Following a 15-year hiatus to raise her only son, Glenn, in 1973, she began working with a young hand surgeon named James Hunter at Thomas Jefferson University. There, she helped establish the Hand Rehabilitation Center, one of the first facilities in the country to integrate the specialties of hand surgery and hand therapy to achieve exceptional patient outcomes. We could go down with patients, which we often did, and we could go down to consult with, with the doctors. It was really set up for teamwork, and I think I've had a lot to do with that. Evelyn's collaboration with Dr. Hunter and Dr. Larry Schneider took her to the 13th annual meeting of the American Society for Surgery of the Hand in 1975. Evelyn and Karen were there rooming together and they put a message on the bulletin board for American Society for Surgery of the Hand saying, therapist meeting 8 a.m. in the coffee shop. Bonnie Olivet, Judy Bell and Mary Cash and I were the four who answered their call. After two years of preparation and collaboration, Evelyn helped give birth to ASHT. So the six of us put together $100 each, and we Evelyn got us incorporated in Philadelphia. And that was the uh, actual official birth of American Society for Hand Therapists. Revered and recognized by her ASHT peers, Evelyn was selected for the first Natalie Barr Lectureship in 1986 and the Lifetime Fellowship Award in 1990. Evelyn's partnership and dedication to interprofessional practice with Drs. Hunter and Schneider led to the development of an educational conference. After enjoying a lot of success over those first few years and innovating surgical procedures and post-operative protocols and non-operative therapy procedures, they decided that they wanted to share that with the community at large. And so they developed the first Philadelphia Hand Meeting to support their research and education endeavors, the Hand Rehabilitation Foundation was established in 1975 to disseminate information to physicians and therapists who work with hand patients. In 1990, Evelyn became a foundation board member, and in 1992, she was named its executive director, serving with distinction until her retirement. The culmination of Evelyn's dedication to training and education in hand rehabilitation is embodied in the Foundation's Fellowship named in her honor. The Evelyn J. Mackin Fellowship in Hand Therapy at the Philadelphia Hand Center, established in 1998, offers a six-month fellowship to a hand therapist to increase knowledge and skills in the care of the hand-injured patient. It is a very enriched experience where the therapy the therapist has the ability to interact with uh, very seasoned and experienced therapist at Philadelphia Hand to Shoulder Center, as well as the surgeons. Evelyn's proudest professional accomplishment was the establishment of a peer-reviewed scientific journal. In 1986, the ASHT Publications Committee received board approval to launch the Journal of Hand Therapy, and Evelyn served as its first editor from 1987 to 1997. She believed the field was coming into its own and was ready for a dedicated journal. And frankly, her leadership position in the nascent field, her stately demeanor, and her strong sense of purpose gave her the gravitas required to lead the endeavor. She was the driving force for the journal's 1993 coveted inclusion in Index Medicus, a bibliography of high-quality medical journals. Throughout her professional career, Evelyn was an advocate for therapist and surgeon education. She was co-editor of the first five editions of Rehabilitation of the Hand, first published in 1978. This text, recently published in its seventh edition as Rehabilitation of the Hand and Upper Extremity, is used as a foundational reference for hand therapy education. When Hunter and Schneider and Mackin realized um, the potential that was coming out of that first symposium, they wanted to, to have something that would be referenceable, findable for therapists and for surgeons. We all call the, those books the Therapist Bible. 
In the 1980s, Evelyn played a pivotal role in the development of the International Federation of Societies of Hand Therapy, IFSHT, and served as its first president from 1987 to 1992. At that very first Congress, there were um, 180 therapists. So we were a very small group um, of therapists. And at that same Congress, Evelyn wanted us to actually get together and formalize the whole International Federation more. So the first thing that we did is we had to elect Evelyn as our president. Those who knew Evelyn Mackin remember more than her professional accomplishments. A leader of leaders, Evelyn had the rare gift to envision the future and the tenacity and commitment to make it a reality. Although elegant, genuine, and humble, Evelyn rarely took no for an answer. She could make you feel like you wanted to do whatever she asked. She saw potential in everyone around her, enveloping them in her enthusiasm while asking for their commitment. Traveling the world, lecturing, and encouraging formation of hand therapy societies, Evelyn always focused on improving patient care through advancing the art and science of hand therapy. Although future generations of hand therapists may not remember Evelyn Mackin's name, they will unknowingly continue to benefit in countless ways from her vision and dedication to making hand therapy a unique medical specialty.